What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's a pretty good day because it is new guitar day. So without further ado, let's open up the box. Let's see what I got. Heck yeah. All right, so I know I'm primarily a metal channel and very rarely do I play acoustics, but I needed a new acoustic and this guy is awesome looking. And plus coming with a, uh, with a gig bag, that's always a plus. Well, before I get into things, let's find out, is it, is it still in tune, even out of the box? Not bad. Out of tune a little bit though. But I'm gonna let this guy go ahead and acclimate to the environment for about 24 hours and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Here we are 24 hours later and the guitar has finally acclimated to my room, to the dryness and the elevation up here and just about anything that can really go wrong with a guitar, especially an acoustic guitar, which is very, very sensitive to a lot of different changes. And coming from California to Colorado where I'm at, I'm sure you can only imagine all the different changes that this guitar had to go through. Before I begin, now would be a great chance to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notifier so that when I am posting a video, you don't miss it. So two weeks of brand new guitars is very, very exciting and I'm not gonna lie, it is a really good feeling. I am very happy right now. And both of the guitars that I've gotten in the past two weeks are very different from each other as well. The first guitar being the Legator N7FP, which I posted the video for that last week. If you haven't seen it, I will have the link on the top of the screen for you to go and watch yourself. The second guitar is the Mason Torrified Spruce Live Acoustic Guitar from Orangewood Guitars. I don't have a lot of acoustic guitars, mostly because I'm playing really high gain tones but my band Purge the Heretics, we've been playing more and more and some acoustic guitar sets have started to pop up, which have pushed me to start looking for a decent acoustic guitar. I mean, really forcing me to buy a guitar, twist my arm. A buddy of mine actually turned me on to Orangewood Guitars. He bought one from them maybe a year or so ago and he absolutely loves the quality of his guitar and better yet, it did not break the bank whatsoever. And for me on my search, when I was looking, I'm looking for a guitar that has good sustain, really good tone, and I think the most important part for me was a guitar that I could actually plug directly into my audio interface and do a direct recording. Let's look at the specs on this guitar. The top wood is a Sitka Spruce, and I apologize if I pronounce this wrong, but the sides and back are a layered pow ferro. The neck is a C-shaped mahogany neck, and both the bridge and fretboard are ebony. The tuning pegs are a gold die cast, and I'm not sure if you can see this, I'm gonna kinda try to put it a little bit closer to you, but the handles on the tuning pegs are rubberized and it's a really small feature but I really enjoy it because tuning this guitar is really really comfortable. I know I mentioned earlier that something important to me was the ability to plug straight into my audio interface for direct recording. Well this guitar can do just that. It comes loaded with the Fishman Plus TEQ electronics. The knobs for it are right here and in addition on top of the electronics which I thought was the absolute coolest thing ever. I actually had no idea any guitar would ever come with this, but it has a tuner built into the Fishman electronics. All you have to do is push and hold the knob that's closest to the face of the guitar, 
and an LED screen will turn on right here. And there is your tuner, guys. You will never need an external tuner outside of this guitar ever again. And then you just push and hold it again, and it turns it off. And all of these specs are beautifully put into a grand auditorium cutaway body style with a natural gloss finish. With so many great features on this guitar, let's go ahead and plug in and see how it sounds. Today, I'm gonna be going straight into my interface using the Fishman Plus TEQ electronics built into this guitar so that you guys can see how the electronics sound. So let's get into it. As you can hear, you can get a really, really great sound out of this guitar. You probably noticed that I did put reverb on the guitar, and I mostly did that just to create space and ambience in the song itself. As far as the electronics go, I think they sound really good, but the top end had a tinny and chimey sound to it that I wasn't so much a fan of, so what I did was I just put a high cut on it just to round off the top end and not make it so harsh. But even with that being said, I think this is an amazing guitar and I would highly recommend it to anyone that's just looking for a good quality, decent acoustic guitar. What did you guys think of the guitar? Please let me know down in the comments below. And I will have the website for Orangewood guitars down in the description below if you would like to get yourself an Orangewood guitar. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Please, if you could smash that like button, that would be a huge help to me. Also, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notifier so that you never miss a video of mine ever again. My name is Chris with High Impact Audio and I will see you next time.